All right, new on AM Extra now, a visit to Oregon wine country sometimes means bringing your entire family along for the trip. It might seem uncommon to bring a bunch of kiddos to the tasting room, but some local wineries and businesses have actually worked to make things very family friendly and welcome the kiddos, pets, and everyone you want to bring along for the day. Joining us on the couch this morning with some family friendly wine country activities is Patty, is it Michelle? Patty Michael. Michael. Yes. I was way off. Patty Michael, Director <laughs> of Sales and Retail <laughs> Newton Vineyards in Dundee Hills. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Thank you for having us. I love this idea because, you know, for a lot of families to take the whole day to go out to wine country would mean getting a babysitter, mm -hmm. planning this out in advance. How convenient to be able to bring the kiddos along and have some stuff for them to do as well. Yes. And it seems like it's getting more and more common for people to go out with their kids. Um, it just seems like it's harder and harder to get babysitters. Mm -hmm. and and people are traveling and doing other things too, so it's a good way to fit it into the day and um, come out and do fun things like like what we have. Yeah, so what have you done to make this kid friendly? How, how did you go about this? Yeah, so we created an activity mat and um, kids get this at their play setting. So while mom and dad are doing the wine tasting, um, they're able to get kind of their own tasting. So uh -huh. we call it the kids juice challenge <laughs> and we have apple, grape and orange, um, an activity mat. They get their little gift bag, which has these snacks inside. And then they get a little set of crayons and stickers, but it, it's great. The parents love it. The kids love it. Um, they're able to keep busy while mom and dad are enjoying the wine. So. Totally. As an adult, I may try to give that maze a crack. <laughs> I was like, hey, get an extra activity mat right. over here. Exactly. I, I think that's such a fun idea and it lets them feel like they're a part of the tasting too. Mom and dad have their glasses, they have their juice glasses. Yes, and yeah. and it, it really kind of takes the burden off of the parents from trying to get out and do something cool for themselves, but mm. also, you know, a lot of times trying to keep track of their kids and this sort of keeps them put at the table. Yes, right. occupied. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and you guys aren't the only ones to have come up with some family friendly activities. Tell us about some other Dundee Hills wineries. Yeah, that have some fun so stuff. and that's the great part. There are more and more wineries doing really cool things now. So um, Durant Vineyards has a nature trail and they have an olive mill there for olive oil. Uh, there's also Tori Moore, which has a Japanese garden, so oh, they wow. can walk around through there. Um, for food, Red Hills Market is one of my favorites. I love Red Hills Market. Oh, yeah, it's such great. a great stop for lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. It is, and they have cornhole and outdoor games, and kids can run around and kind of be free and crazy. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, there's so much going on now. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Well, did you see this need as somebody? Did you constantly talk to parents at, at your at your place at Knutson and just see like, hey, this is this is a constant battle for for these parents. Yeah, we really did. We um, we kind of noticed that during the pandemic, there were less and less parents coming out because they were having a hard time getting babysitters. Mm -hmm. And so we just thought, well, how do we get them to not worry about that anymore and just bring the kids out? So we developed this and uh, it's been a huge hit. We opened in 2020. Um, so ever since then, it's just been a big part of our tasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So what advice would you give folks who are planning a day trip with their kids or with their pets? Just some good ways to plan ahead and make sure it all goes smoothly. Sure. Uh, I would say try not to pack too much into the day. So keep it somewhat narrowed down. Maybe just do a tasting, a lunch, and then another tasting. Or mm -hmm. maybe um, try to hit up something else in the Dundee Hills. There's a really good cheese creamery mm. right down the road from us called Briar Rose yes. Creamery. We, we have had their cheeses many a time uh, on favorite. this she's, show. So uh -huh, good. She's uh -huh. awesome. Super fun to talk to. Um, Sarah Marcus has actually paired up with us in the past also for oh, some of great. our cheese plates. Nice. Uh, but that's a fun thing for kids to do too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we saw I think really kind of start to be more common during the pandemic was uh, calling ahead for reservations just so that they could you know, make sure that there was mm. adequate spacing, crowd control, and, and that has kind of stuck around. So are reservations still something you recommend? Reservations are good. Um, we accept walk-ins, so we're not totally specifically taking reservations only. Uh -huh. um, and a lot more people are doing that now, but I think with kids, it, it's a good idea to call ahead mm. so that you can see if they have a kid-friendly option. 
and if they're okay with you bringing your kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, Patty, great stuff. This is an awesome idea. I want to play you. that maze. I want to. I'm gonna. Yeah. That's gonna yeah. be me. <laughs> now it's we know the next me. time we go wine tasting, we're gonna ask for a Travis. <laughs> you have something to occupy well. me with. Yeah. Yes. There's I a glass of wine and a maze. It's <laughs> a box of crayons. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah. It was great to talk to you. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thanks for coming in. And again, for resources to help plan out that next day trip to wine country, you can head to DundeeHills.org. All kinds of fun ideas. Yeah, no doubt.